uh, Eric's not playing. Uh, still day to date. Uh, Formanton's in. Youngest uh, fellow to play in the NHL for Ottawa. Uh, Harper's in, uh, replacing Oduya. It, Shabbat's there because we want him there, and we're we're gonna bring him up uh, uh, once we feel he's had enough enough to. Yesterday played a great game. Our, a lot of our staff was there to watch him, and other guys, and uh, a lot of our young guys are playing very well. Uh, but like we said, you know, we want to be smart and patient uh, for those guys to be able to make the mistakes that they need to make and grow. And uh, yeah, so he can come up at any moment. Just right now, we feel that with uh, Oduya missing and Eric missing, we need some NHL experience. And Harper's got that. And Harper knocked at the door last year, paid his dues in the American League, and helped us in the playoffs. And so he was on the verge of uh, staying with us. So we want to make sure that uh, we give him what he deserves. Well, uh, you know what? He went from uh, one extreme to another, I would say. Uh, you know, he's a big guy, he's got size. And uh, in the first games that he played, he plays very smart, moved the puck really well, but he wasn't aggressive enough. And then the game after that, wanted to be aggressive, then was uh, all over the place trying to be aggressive. And so he shifted from one side to another, and basically he's got, just got to calm his game down to, to, to have a, a better mix of both. But he, he's shown both. It's just right now, I think when you're in training camp, you know, you're nervous, yeah. You want to make the team, and uh, I think when you come in in the middle of the year like that, which he's done before, uh, I think it's a it's a better setting for him to, to be able to be himself. Well, I got to go back now. All, I've, all I was told, well, first of all, he, he came out in the middle of the uh, the morning skate, so uh, I'll be honest with you, I thought he could be able to go for today, and he thought also. So it's just, just off a little bit, uh, so we're going to have to wait to, uh, and see what happens after today. I don't know <laughs> right now. I got to go back and talk to Pierre and talk to the uh, medical staff again to see where our guys are, where Eric is and how close and, and uh, what we expect with Oduya and uh, and try to cover ourselves there. And, and if we need another D, maybe that's the, but I'm going to, I'm going to relying on Pierre to tell me which, uh, which guy we're going to bring up. I'm, I'm not going to be the one deciding that. Like it's once the guys in the American league, it's the coaches down there with Randy and Pierre that uh, that see who deserves it and why we bring up the guys. Man, if it's Shabbat, then it's Shabbat. It's, it's, that's, where we're, that's where we're at. We'll see. But we're not sure we're bringing up somebody else. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean we know what, who our guys are. We we keep track of their 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 entire history, either with us or previous teams, and uh, uh, we all know that our, our top two are uh, Turris and uh, and Ryan. That's clear. That's just clear. It's not just uh, statistically in games, but it's also in practice. And so our goalie coaches on that. Uh, we've got uh, lengthy discussions on who's uh, good and uh, and uh, who's not, and. Uh, so it's not about the big names, it's about who's good on shoot-up, period. Uh, and we know those two guys are top. We know Eric usually does it, but he's not here. So those are top three guys, and then we fall into the rest of the guys that uh, that are, you know, Pied is good at that. Uh, Burroughs actually is good at that. He's 38%. Uh, we know that. So we, we know who's, you know who's next. Where, where does Hoff make the Hoff is not a, not a shoot-up guy. No. He's got a great shot, but he's he's that's he's much better in games with a shot. Uh, he can he can he go? Yes, but he's not in the top guys. Yeah, breakaways and shootouts are not the same. People think that, that they're not. When you're in the middle of the game, uh, you're more in a reaction and you're just reacting. When you're going to shootout, you have the thinking part and the and and, uh, and the pressure part and all that, and all of a sudden it changes. It's uh. I, I was a shootout guy, and uh, I know the difference between a breakaway and a shootout. It's, so that's why there's guys who you don't understand why they have trouble. You know, I've been in Tampa, and some guys are supposed to be great offensive guys, and they had major trouble on shootouts. And you just 
it's just a different it's, it's a different thing that's why a lot of europeans are good in shootouts they've been doing it since they're this high and it's just something that now it's, it's you you see it more but we don't have that in our minor hockey the shootouts you know the game is tied it's over go home uh in europe it's different and uh it makes a difference so the europeans very often come in and a lot of them are are good because they see it i was in switzerland it was the same it was, it was a it's it's a country where the offense is not very good it's it's low and, and they're outstanding defensively but in shootouts the guys are good so it's very different five on five offense and, and you shoot them i never i never watch it no because and I, it's not because i'm afraid of the result it's because i hate it when i look and i saw something that they could have done and i just made mistakes in the past i just do you, do your thing I've, I've always disliked it and i still do it's a team game that it's the same with uh, soccer it's a team game that has decided with uh, a one-man show so but hey it is what it is yeah yeah breakaways and stuff like that so but it wouldn't be good now <laughs> need a cane i need a cane to get to the net <laughs> No, no, we're not looking at Brown on the wing. Brown, is, 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 if he stays with us, he's going to have to. Obviously, somebody's going to have to take part of the face-offs. Uh, and right now, we're playing a really fast team. Like, on on the video, I was, I was almost shocked at how fast they were. And they're a high, fast-paced team, and they take off on you. So we need speed big time, big time. The last, last game was a different story. It's a bigger team. You got some bigger bodies that... Uh, you have to handle. Uh, they're a bit more of an east-west team. Uh, Washington. And this t this team is a, a north team, and it's you better be you better be ready because they're coming. And a lot of young guys with tremendous speed, and they take off, and so it's, it's it fits Formington perfectly. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly what it is. It's a, to give him the best chance to perform. Uh, I had a talk with him to. You know, just to make sure that the expectations are at the right place. You know, sometimes the young guys want to come in and they want to impress, and that's the wrong that's the wrong attitude. You don't want to impress. You just want to be solid, uh, and you want to keep it simple. And the more you keep it simple, the more you build your game. Then the nerves, you know, disappear, uh, or at least you can manage them. And eventually, you're just able to think the game. Uh, but when you're too nervous, you don't think the game. You're just running around and. Uh, so we just want to make sure that he has a calm mind because his legs are going to be NHL level. We know that. And he, his battle level, his, his uh, relentlessness and all that. He's a very bright kid. So all that's NHL level already. Right now it's it's learning to play the pro game, and that's he's here. And Burroughs is outstanding. Like Thompson and Burroughs are, with our forwards, they're high-end leaders for us for, for managing games and experience in the NHL so that's why they're there.